this is the provoke prawn and are you finding that your pc isn't booting fast enough and you can't get into windows quick enough to be able to then play games like you'd like to well i'm going to show you some tips and tricks on how to improve that and to reduce the amount of time it takes for your machine to boot. Now, the first thing to do is to turn it on and then wait for the logo to appear of your manufacturer, in this case, Republic of Gamers, and then mash that delete key. Keep on mashing that key until we end up in the BIOS. Now, these settings are obviously in the ASUS BIOS, but it will be available in other BIOSes, so it doesn't matter what manufacturer you're running with. If you looked for your advanced settings and then your boot settings, that's what we want to find. So you'll see here in boot, and then you'll see there's a boot configuration setting. And under that menu, you'll then find there's a fast boot setting. Now mine is currently enabled, but it will be disabled as default most likely. So try and set that to enabled and watch out for any others because you may find on different manufacturers there are other things. So for example, there's MSI fast boot on MSI motherboards. So check for those settings and turn them on where possible. And the other thing to bear in mind is the boot configuration priorities. So if you have multiple drives, it may be trying to boot from various different drives before it uses your main Windows drive. So make sure you select your main Windows drive as the first boot option and then disable any other drives from that list. It will prevent your machine from trying to use the other drives unnecessarily. Now save and exit by pressing this button down here or F10 and then restart. Once you restart, hopefully you should find uh, Windows is booting a little bit faster, but there are some other things that we can do to make it even better. And there are some steps that I'm gonna go through now. So once you're in Windows, we then need to access the startup apps. Now to do this, press Control, Shift and Escape and this will open Task Manager. I'm using Windows 11 here, but the same logic applies in Windows 10. On the left hand side you'll see in the menu there's a startup app section this is on the top navigation in windows 10 and this shows you all the different apps that are launching at startup so as soon as you turn your pc on these are trying to load when windows first loads up which obviously slows things down you can see there were loads and loads of different apps running here and you can also sort them by impact so the impact that it has on the startup time and you can see that you've got the highest at the top and then we can go through and disable anything that we don't need. I don't need Battle.net, for example. I don't need Camera Hub. I don't need Cortana, Epic Games, other things. Anything that you're not going to use on a regular basis. Do take care not to disable things that you're not quite sure what they are. But any apps that you've installed that you know that you don't necessarily need at startup, but you can launch when you do need them, then disable them. Disabling these will then help with that boot startup time. It will ensure that you boot into Windows faster, but also just that Windows loads quicker and is ready to go immediately. And then you can just load the apps that you want to use and go on. Obviously, if you want to keep things downloading on Steam, then I'd recommend keeping that enabled. But these various different options will help and that should reduce the startup time. The other way to access this setting is to press the start menu button, then type startup apps, and you'll find that you can go through the same sort of logic in this menu instead. This is basically an alternative to doing it. So you can then find the apps that you want to disable and see these at a glance. And again, just be careful not to disable things. You're not quite sure what they are. You might find some in there. If you do disable them, they could cause problems. But for the most part, if you've been using Windows for a long time, you'll find a lot of apps in here that you don't necessarily need anymore or that you don't want starting up when you start your PC. Now, there is another way to improve things, and this is a purchase. So additional purchase, but if you've bought a motherboard in the last few years, and I do mean quite a few years, you, you most likely have a PC that will support M2 NVMe SSDs. These are slightly more expensive, but faster drives that will enable PC to run a little bit faster, boot much faster, depending on the variant of them and your motherboard and enable a lot quicker speeds. Obviously this is a purchase where the other options weren't, but they're really easy to install as you can see me doing here with the Kingston Fury Renegade, a slot into your motherboard and then screw down. Now the best thing to do here is to do a fresh install of Windows. It is possible to clone Windows from your current drive onto one of these drives and I've done a video separately on how to do that, I'll link to it in the description, but you'll be surprised what a difference it makes if you have a fresh install of Windows to load from. So these are the tips and tricks for booting your PC faster. I hope you found it useful. Check out other information linked in the description. Thanks for watching. You've made it right to the end of the video, you brilliant legend you. If you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions. 
If you really enjoyed it, consider joining the channel and see the benefits of doing so. Check out these other videos. You might well find them interesting or useful. And most importantly, have a great life.